Good morning, everybody. We're in Whitewood, Saskatchewan. Got a load of steel on us. We're taking it to Regina. There it is. Found ourselves in this mud lot. We're at the Petro Pass in Whitewood, Saskatchewan. This place isn't usually mud, but it rained pretty hard yesterday. And it's actually dried up, believe it or not. It was worse last night. Old Blue's ready to go. Her tires are a little dirty now. Unfortunately, it makes us sad. Let's get this freight delivered. Get it off my trailer and let's get some new freight. These dirty lots, when it rains, it always messes up your truck. Gets everything dirty. You gotta try not to bring that dirt back into the cab with you. Sometimes that can be pretty difficult. First day on the road and we're already dirty. All right, everybody, we're just on time. Let's get out of here. Try to avoid some of this mud in front of me. Shined up my aluminum at least this morning, but I still do need to get out of this mess. Well, they'll get in the truck too dirty. I really wish they would have a paved lot, but I know that's a lot of money. It goes a long way though. Oh, we're just really sinking in like three to four inches. Yikes. Oh, now we're on a harder spot. That is a mess. They must have just got a downpour yesterday. I know it was raining most of the way here, but they must have really got it. I don't think I've seen this yard that muddy. It's too bad because, you know, when you go into their store and the restaurant here, everybody's tracking all that mud right into their store. So everything is just filthy.
right on here at the site. This is where we're going to be unloading. Right on time. Oh, and I'm getting waved in. Okay. marching orders. We're zipping back to Winnipeg from here. There's a nice load there waiting for me. Uh, it's going to come back to Saskatchewan to Langbeck. Not quite all the way back to Regina, but I'm going to zip there and zip back. Uh, my pickup appointment for tomorrow is set at 4 p.m. So we're, <laughs> we're going to call ahead in the morning and be like, hey, if you got the stuff ready and you want to, we can load me up early, you know, get me out of the way a little earlier in the day. I don't know how busy they are at the shipper. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try calling in tomorrow. I already called our office and they said, yeah, I should just give them a call in the morning and uh, see if we can get loaded a bit earlier than that. But if not, four o'clock it is. And then we come back to Langbank. We deliver in Langbank uh, 8 a.m. the following day. So it'll keep me busy for the next, uh, well, for tomorrow. So tomorrow's Wednesday and Thursday morning I'll be unloaded and uh, we'll go from there. I'm just gonna be work, work, working for the rest of this month though, so. Wherever the truck needs to go, that's where the truck's gonna go. We've got lots of time to get to Winnipeg now, so no big rush. We're empty and on our way back. Look at that nice GM right there, eh? I want a GMC pickup like that, but I want it to be all blacked out. One day. One day. For now. Just me and old blue and I'll leave. Got about a six hour drive back. repair work where they put gravel down on the Trans Canada Highway and then just ask everybody to slow down. There's always those people that don't slow down and every year everybody gets damaged to their paint, to their windshields, stone chips like here. Loose gravel on the road. This is how they fix the roads here. They put loose gravel down with tar and then they just put up signs on the on the side here, no passing, 60 kilometers an hour. But I guarantee you there's gonna be people that don't listen to that. Not only does it put our 
vehicle's in danger. Remember that one time my driver's side window got smashed out by someone who passed me and threw a rock up at me? It's dangerous. And not just dangerous, it also slows our day down. Because we have to slow down from 100 to 110 kilometers an hour down to 60. So that's like slowing down from 60 to 70 mile an hour down to 35 for miles and miles and miles and miles. So it's eating up our day, slowing down our trucks and the economy. I just, I don't understand why they keep doing it. And it, it gets me so frustrated every year when I see this. It's garbage, it's nonsense. Fixing a main highway like this by putting loose gravel down onto it with some tar is just no way to do it in my opinion. I'm tired of my vehicle getting damaged from this every year. I'm always nervous of my of my my window smashing out again like it did that one time. I don't get why. But that's my rant for now. That's my whining and complaining. That's my quota for the day. I'll, I'll do my best to leave it at that. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. What do you think of this nonsense? I know there's going to be people saying, well, it's the most affordable option. That's nice. That's nice. I think we can find better ways of doing it. Let me know what you think down below. Should we be fixing, like... This would be comparable to a United States interstate going like across Nebraska or across South Dakota or something, right? This is our main highway. Can you imagine fixing I-80 or I-90 with loose gravel for miles and miles, like 20 miles at a time, just put loose gravel on the freeway and just telling people, please slow down. How do you think that will go over down there? Same thing here. love to know other people's opinions. Am I wrong? Should I be quiet? Should I shut up? Or are you on my side? Let me know. Stopping here in Whitewood. This is where we started the day today. We parked over We were parked over at Petro Pass this morning. But now I'm going to park at Co-op and I'm going to do my walk here in town that out of the way since we got lots of time may as well right pull in right here if there's no one between these guys perfect I don't think I've ever actually explored Whitewood Saskatchewan before so been through here many times but never went walking through the town so let's go see what it's all about so this was the parking lot that we slept in. Slept right over here. Remember how muddy this was this morning? It dries out pretty quick. There's still some wet spots here. For the most part, I mean, this was so wet we were sinking in like three inches over here. Dried up pretty quickly. I guess that uh, sun's behind the cloud right now, but it doesn't take long. Pretty neat little prairie town. <laughs> Can't believe I've never 
swung through here before. That's why I keep saying these walks help you discover things that you would usually just walk right past, right? Look, they got like a little miniature version of it there. <laughs> That's awesome. It's a regional library and town office. That's really cool. See? Driven past this town oh, probably a thousand times. Never taken a minute just to come see what's actually here. There was a war memorial on that side of town. I mentioned it in my short video if you guys have been keeping up with those. A little bit of a sneak peek into the longer format. This one here says, dedicated in memory of Dr. Juman for his faithful service to the community, 1971 to 2014. That's nice. Nice park. Oh, and look at that over there. They got one of those, like, uh, uh, what do you call those things? A little library, little book box. Do they have these in your community too? It's almost like a little mailbox. It's like you can just leave a book or you can borrow a book. When you're done, you bring it back. Or if you have one you don't want, you bring it here and other people can read it. It's like a little book box. I've seen that in several communities. Uh, across the Canadian prairies. I don't know if that's like a whole national thing that goes across all of Canada or not, but I've definitely seen those in a few towns. I believe Steinbeck has at least one of them that I've seen there. My wife was the one who pointed it out to me at first. I didn't know what it was, and uh, she explained it to me. It's a little community sharing book box, or a book sharing box. Let's go this way. Nicely paved streets. They just repaved all the streets in town. I've never seen a stop sign like this before. Maybe I'm weird. They're all like this. Isn't the four-way sign usually below the stop sign? <laughs> Those are like that too. Guess I'll go this way. This is uh, I think this is still a sidewalk. Well, that was fun. Back to work. Here's the one hill, the one valley in Manitoba. Big time valley. Well, that was fun. What river do we got at the bottom here? I don't even remember. Assiniboine. Oh, the Assiniboine River. Oh, that makes sense.
got my doubts. So I'm gonna fuel up anyways, get my free shower on my account. And if I can't find parking, I guess I'm gonna have to come by here in the morning. I'll go uh, park at Husky down the street or something. And I'll come by here in the morning and shower then. I'd much rather shower before I go to bed than in the morning. In 200 meters, turn right on, connecting road and then approaching destination on the right side in 10 meters. We're truckers though, we don't always have the choice. Probably gonna be pretty full, but I'm hoping there's at least you know a couple spots open all the way at the back. Ah, I shouldn't have driven through that puddle. Ah, I'm gonna have to wipe off my chrome now. Ah, it's probably already dirty. Oh, well. Is every single pump blocked right now? Ah, last one open just for us. There are paid spots available if I want to pay for a spot. I'm not paying for a spot though. Right, let's get these bugs off the windshield, fuel in the tanks, and get a parking spot. Well, I really wasn't expecting this, but I got like a front row spot. There's the building right there, there's the pumps. Right at the front. We didn't even have to park way at the back. Though there is lots of parking available back there. So it's good. So let's just quickly go to the back here and make sure that we're good. That this isn't actually a paid spot because I think either this one or the next spot is a paid spot. Let's see, where do they start? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so the paid st spots start way over there. Not one paid spot is taken. Oh, wait, I lied. I lied. At least I'm an honest liar. I lied. Oh, I lied again. There's no one. Why is he so far out? See, this guy is right to the back here. Why is this guy so far away from the curb? Jeez. So I'm a little ways down from the paid ones. There's one, two, three. I'm the fourth one over, but still, I'm pretty happy with that. Noise. Well, this is where we're gonna end today. And that's it for today, everybody. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this spot. Like, not too shabby. I was expecting it to be completely full. 11 o'clock at night, right in the front. I'm gonna run in there now, grab a shower, clean myself up, come back here. I'm gonna work on some videos and stuff in my office back there a little bit. And then get to sleep. We'll wake up tomorrow morning and, uh, give the shipper a call. Be like, hey, I know my appointment's for 4 p.m. But if you wanna go home a little earlier, I'm in town and would love to get loaded a little bit earlier. Just think, get me loaded and you can go home. You don't have to wait till 4 p.m. We'll see what they say. See, uh, I'll put on my, uh, my super serious convincing Trucker Josh face and use my best convincing trucker Josh voice and I'll say please we'll see what happens <laughs> if not then we'll load it for and then we'll head back into Saskatchewan take care everybody be safe out there keep your eyes on the road keep your head up make sure you uh, are aware of all the crazies on the road there seems to be more and more of them out there all the time make sure you're not one of the crazies okay Let's make sure that us here, our little group, that we are the elite on the road. So that we don't have to worry about each other. Just worry about everybody else out there who has not gotten the message that, you know, your feet shouldn't be on the dashboard and uh, your uh, nose shouldn't be buried in Facebook while you're driving. Together we'll make the, world, the, the whole world a safer place. We'll see you later. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget down below to subscribe and leave me a comment. It helps out a whole lot. If you wanna go one step further and you really like my videos, you can always support us uh, by joining as a member and you get early access to these full length videos. These get posted about a week after I film them, but sometimes I get them uh, edited and uploaded several days early. 
you get access to those uh, right away for the price of a cup of coffee. Pretty much Starbucks coffee, I think it's like five bucks or so. Uh, and you get that. If not, uh, just leave me a comment down below. That's the best way to support me, and it's free. Subscribing is free, and hitting that like button is free. And I appreciate every single one of you that does that on every video. It does help me out a lot, more than you think. I'll see you tomorrow.